everyone, it's Maytal. Today I am going to nerd out with you on some graphs and charts. I have a couple title reps and I never ever miss their statistic updates. They are just the best. And I reached out to them and thought, oh my god, why don't I use any of these graphs in my updates when I talk about their material all the time? So I don't know about you, but I really like my visual aids and I'm excited to share these and start incorporating them into my videos. Oh, so today let's talk about these rising prices. People, I think, get scared seeing record high price, record high price, but you guys, that's been the case for like 50 years plus now. Uh, in fact, there's only three years where prices actually went down, and one of those was in 1987 when interest rates were crazy high, and then a couple different times during the housing bubble. So prices are going to keep going up. That is been the trend, it will continue being the trend, and it, there's really no scenario where renting over buying makes sense unless you're going to be moving in the next couple years or so. And if not, you just make that an investment property. Take it from me, it is a great time to be a landlord in Denver, so we can talk about that on another video. But you just need to face it, prices aren't going anywhere. This year they actually went up faster, they went up higher faster than any other year before. Um, the drastic run up in prices is due to something called compression. So uh, you've heard me say that the appreciation happens at the beginning of the year. This is because of compression. So compression happens when the peak of buyer activity happens before the peak of listing activity. So you have more buyers looking and not enough supply. Uh, the following graphs show the real estate cycle in Denver since 2014. So the appreciation started in 2012, but compression really didn't start until 2014. The yellow line represents under contract units and green represents active. When the yellow starts to approach the green line, there is not enough units on the market for all the demand. So in 2014, there is a slight compression from March to April, but you never actually see those lines cross. 2015 is when compression really became apparent. We go into the compression from March to May, and the longer and deeper the compression phase is, that's when prices really get pushed up. So that was a record setting year. 2016, compression phase was a little bit shorter, and then in 2017, we noted an earlier start to the compression. So that was, you know, a year we really didn't have a lot of snow and the Broncos ended earlier. And then this year, same thing. We are seeing it earlier than ever before. The big gap between the yellow and the green is where pricing gets pushed higher and higher. So this year, yeah, again, faster than ever before. So our prices keep going up, people keep moving here. Uh, don't sit on the sidelines anymore. Get in the game, talk to a lender. I have a couple that I'd be happy to share with you. And uh, don't let these rising prices freak you out because uh, there's more to gain than anything else. Uh, hope to talk to you soon. 720-431-1221. Thanks.